When everything falls apart When you're dumb but you feel so smart Cause that's what mama's supposed to say Look both ways when you cross the street Keep a steady line and keep your feet straight And everything will fall in line Yeah, I've heard that lie too But what you gonna do when the devil comes looking for you? What you gonna do when a Megadeth fan comes looking for you? Yeah! You're gonna run like a bitch! I'm just kidding. Welcome to the channel, guys. Glad to have you here. If you don't know, now you know I'm a Metallica fan. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not one of them people. I just... I, can't, I never could get into Megadeth. His vocals, I don't like. I think it's the vocals. Because um, the guitars sound okay to me. Nothing I heard that really like blows me out of the water. Because I never loved Slayer's... I never loved Tom Araya's vocals. Well, I didn't love them in the beginning. It took me a long time. But I at least liked the instruments. Now, I'm not saying I don't like Megadeth's instruments. I'm saying I haven't heard it good enough, well enough to know. I, I've heard little bits and pieces, but I want to listen to Megadeth. And I want to hear, what are they good? Are they better than Metallica? People say that. Some The corn balls, mostly those die, those corn balls. <laughs> the metal impress me bros. Those bastards. But I might get a lot of hate on this video. But if, if I think it's better than Metallica, I will tell you guys. All right, this is Ho Megadeth, Holy Wars. Let's see. Are they this fucking good? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. If I don't like this song, guys, please leave other songs that you think might persuade me to like them a little. I, Anth I don't, I'm not super familiar with Anthrax either. They never appealed to me either. I was a Slayer Metallica dude. Slayer took me a long time to come around to, but now I love them. All right, here we go. Let's shut the fuck up. Also, I want to say Dave Mustaine, like, always seems like he's talking shit on people. I don't, like, he's, I don't like the shit talking, bro. Stop being corny. And he's always, like, whining. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. He, he, I might wind up loving him. I like that main riff. I like how it like keeps doing that, but it has little things come in and out of it. I like that. That's hot. I like that they're staying on that same riff. It keeps it. That's what's hot about it, right? Like when they go in other parts and then it comes back to that part. It's it's like mm. this part. I don't know yet. It doesn't sound like it fits really. This it's like it should be on a different recording. It doesn't fit with the. Let me see though. Maybe maybe they intentionally wanted it to sound off putting. I just, that riff did not really fit over that guitar. It sounds like they took it from a different song and just put it over that song. But at the same time, it's not that bad either. It just sounds like odd, but it's kind of good too. Like it's good because it's odd. <laughs> I 
Okay. All right, that's hot. I love that they're keeping that riff like in everything. That is that's cool. That's awesome. Like I didn't I knew like they were doing it in the beginning, but once it went to that dun 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 I did not expect them to go back to that. At least not that quick. That reminds me of Pantera type shit. can't i like it it is good it's good it's good but i just his voice doesn't it's not bad it's not bad to listen to at all like it's kind of i kind of like that it's kind of goofy uh and i don't mean that in an offensive way it just you know it sounds kind of goofy like strange but that's kind of enjoyable but it but it just doesn't give me that yeah like that oh my god feeling like when you hear James on for whom the bell tolls like come on bro that is like woo or even James on the seek and destroy it's I don't know there's just a difference you guys know it I think most people would agree they just don't um most people say that Anthrax are better musicians but. I don't know. It's good. It's good. His voice just ain't... I like it. I do like his voice. It just isn't... I don't like it that much where it, like, kills me. Random as hell. I feel like they try to kind of do like what I mean I could be totally off because I what is this album like this is their first album maybe I think um but that felt random as fuck and so did that solo in the beginning over that like that part that they're like that didn't even match the same tempo that one felt random too but so I hope they're not, like, a copy-and-paste band. Like, I know Metallica makes their shit like that. Like, literally, like, they put the riffs together like a puzzle. But they make it feel like it belongs together. Some of these riffs feel like, let's just throw any random thing in there. Not mainly just that Spanish guitar. Like, it was kind of random. But it was nice. But it just, the transition wasn't even, like, natural feeling. Alright, what I'm trying to say is Master of Puppets, when it goes to that, like, solo in the middle of it, and then it goes back to the heavy part, that's a smooth-ass transition, bruh. Yeah, that shit was great. They should have did it with an electric guitar. Okay. That's hot. <laughs> All right, that's bang. All right, 
Everything I just said, fuck that shit. This is good. It is banging. It's not better than Metallica banging, but it is good. And technically, maybe it is better than Metallica. Technically. But maybe not. I don't know. Who cares about Metallica? We're talking about Megadeth. I care about Metallica. But we're not we're not talking about you guys now, okay? Maybe late maybe another time. We'll talk about you later. I'm sure you'll come up again. Right, James? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh-oh. Let me hear that. See, it's shit like that that makes, that just tells me Metallica is a little bit better. Like, that solo just was like, and then it just, like, went into another part. Like, they were just like, let's just cut it off there. Like, I don't know, it just didn't feel like, bruh. It was like, <laughs> it was random. You, you, they're very, I don't know if he's great. Uh, I'm going to sound like a dickwad. I'm not like a metal god and like I know how to write the greatest metal song. Their riffs are awesome and their transitions, not too great. They have a lot of cool parts. They just, like I would have to listen to this song 10 times to remember all these parts. Like there's, it's too, like it's not. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Let me just get through the song and then I'll tell you. But I am liking it. I ain't gonna lie. Like, his vocals on that part was awesome. I wish he would sing like that yeah, more mean all the time. But I barely heard them, so maybe he does. Die. It sounds mean, but at the same time, it's full of emotion and sad. And Guys, please don't get mad at me in the comments. I'm just talking like if I was talking to friends. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, they that fucking motherfucking snob. I'm not a snob. I'm just, I have to talk real, right? I have to talk about how I feel. So, I know metalhead fans are dickheads, so guys, chill out. I'm a metalhead too. I just have a more open mind. That's how. I'm not hating, but skydiving videos and music videos to me have always been cringe <laughs> and i got me and my friend actually have a video a music video but he he's in that i'm not even in it so i don't say i was in it i was not skydiving in a music video cheese galore or either that or like mma fighting or boxing in music videos like metal videos so corny <laughs> please <laughs> Please, God smack, I love you. Stop that shit. That is hot rim. <laughs> so he was like political even back then like not political but you know like you could he always cared about like worldly shit from all the damn interviews i hear of him talking and all how we got to this that's hot that's hot and it's unique like I, I 
I can't name one other song where they do that. I would have to, like, listen through a million songs. Like, that is kind of rare. Just that, the way it gets real quiet. I gotta watch this live. There's no way he can keep his guitar that quiet with a layout, like, drums and people screaming and amps and da 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 da, -da. Kick that guy out of the van. Recently, damn, he gets red. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I gotta say that was a fucking awesome solo and sometimes solos get boring they sound like you know shit you heard a billion times but that was a fucking solo that was a good solo like that part was that whole part was <laughs> that part I was like fuck Metallica <laughs> fuck you Metallica I'm just kidding. But then you got to think of Disposable Heroes, bro. They got parts like that, too. What about, come on, that part when he's like, I was born for dying. They got some bangers, too. Don't forget. But that was pretty good, man. That was, that was a 10. I like how he did that with the vocal. He didn't pick like what you would expect him to pick and go crazy like killings. He was like killings, killings. <laughs> like he wanted to sound kind of deranged, not just scream. I like that. All right, Dave Mustaine. I ain't gonna lie. I do like it. I do like it. And I definitely want to hear more Megadeth. It's fucking good. It's, it's good. I know I was talking shit on some of the trans transitions and some of the, uh... Some of the... Just one of the solos I talk shit on. The one where it's like... <laughs> it's like... And putting the pieces together like a puzzle. Okay, guys. If you like this video, please like, please comment, please talk shit in the comments. I know you guys love talking shit on Metallica fans. So, bring it on, motherfuckers. Bring it on. I'm just kidding. Thanks, guys. I love you. Let me know any Megadeth songs I need to hear. Leave it in the comments. YouTube, Dave Mustaine, if you're watching, leave it in the comments, Dave. Yeah.